Stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast hosted by Commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the Nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out. Because we come today on the assassination day of the most honorable Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Black power! 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 Well, some black actors will tell you, well, he wasn't even revolutionary, brother. But he was more revolutionary than you. Yes, sir. So he started up. That's right. That's right. You might be a Malcolm X man of this hour, huh? That's right. But if Dr. King had not come, huh? Right. You would run to the back of him. What do you call it? Burger King or Murder King? You go to the back of Murder King. Yes, sir. McDonald's, McDonald's, right? You be at the back of the McDonald's. You be a doctor. You be a lawyer. Sure, you be a congressman, huh? But you go around that back door. You get out your Rolls Royce and go on that back door and get some fries. Go with that shit. Is that right, Paul? No, 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 no. Oh, we ain't gotta go in that back door because King opened the door in the days of the '60s so that you wouldn't have to go in the back door. Can you imagine a cracker telling you? You can't sit on a park bench because you're black. He will move you huh, to the back of the bus because you're black. Tell you you can't swim in the swimming hole because you're black. Telling you that you can't even go to the beach. Move on. Or telling people we're here for you on a time when people only come out when it's a holiday. We're letting people know we want to be here for you 365, seven days a week if you need it. All right? It's enough bodies out here for us to be able to speak to the souls. It's enough people with phones to be able to broadcast that information to other people that will wake up to the call. We're not trying to get everybody. Let me say that again. We're not trying to get everybody. That is unrealistic and you'll be wasting energy trying to get everybody. Everyone did not march with Dr. King. Everyone did not go out there with Marcus Garvey. We're going to bring Brother Massac from the Hebrew community, the brother from the Israeli community, the whole community. The ISUBT community. He's gonna give you a full explanation of that on why you need to wake up. That's right. Wake up and stay woke. Uh, and don't you dare, what he say? Wake up because the crack is creeping. And don't you dare let the devil catch you sleeping. Black power, black power, black power, black power, black power, black power brother Masai. Good to see you all here today. Right? Right. Real good to see black people out today. Right. You know what I mean? Right, today they, they, they have they have their celebration. You know, so so-called Christian community have a celebration Easter, right? Yes, sir. Anybody know what Easter is supposed to be? Anybody out here? Yes, sir. Raise your hand. Supposed to be the resurrection. Right? right? Supposed to be resurrection, right? Yeah. What? Well, how they celebrated the, um, now with Easter eggs? Bunnies eggs. Bunnies eggs. Easter is a Greek mistranslation of the word Passover. Mm. Easter is the pagan introduction 
to over to overcome and overshadow Passover. Anybody know what Passover is about? Yes. Tell me, come on. Say again. Passing over. Passing over what over the house is the that, That's what we really the need sin. to get to the bottom of. What is Passover really about? Passover is about a certain race of people that lived as slaves under another race of people. Right. The Hebrews of the Bible were black people living in Egypt under the Africans. Today, your Washington Monument is straight out of Egypt. The back of your dollar bill has Egyptian symbols. America built America on the backs of slaves. Our people, who were the real people in Egypt, the Hebrews. Passover was about the slaughtering of our slave masters in Egypt to free the slaves. Right. But in the Christian church, they tell you paint bodies this morning. They tell you come together with your slave master, with your oppressor. I'm asking you this morning to separate. That's the only solution. Absolute, total, self segregation. There's no way, there's no unity with these other nations. They have a hashtag now, stop Asian hate. Come on. Stop Asian hate. Come on, bro. Asian hate don't exist. Right. They got Chinatown. That's right. They drive all the goddamn buses. They right. got their businesses right. in our community. They got their businesses in our community. You take cents short, Miss Lee gonna pull the food back. There was beating sisters in the nail salons. Right. If that's Asian hate, what the hell is Asian love? Come on, come on. Think about it. You got Chinatown, where's Negro Town? Huh? Yes, Where is it? Come on, brother. Where is it? Right. How about stop the Asians from hating us? Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna stop right there. I ain't gonna stop right there. How about that? That Chinese cop stood and watched George Floyd cry for his mother and did nothing. And did nothing. I ain't stopping no Asian hate. It don't exist. I'm here to stop them from hating us. I'm here to stop them from hating us. Because that's the only hate that exists. Because hating us is how they build their empire. That's right. Hating black people is a financial benefit to America. And I ain't stopping with just America. The white man is the devil, the Bible speaks of. And he will always be the devil, the Bible speaks of. Ain't just him. Ain't just him. The Africans are oppressors too. Tell me when the Africans ever come out to march for us. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. The Ethiopians. You street used to be black. The Ethiopians took it over. They don't hire us. They don't hire us. They don't mess with us. We was marching for George Floyd down by the White House. Some African girl came and said, she went viral. She's from Cameroon. She said, black people lazy. And we deserve to die because we violent. What, 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 what would you be if somebody came in your house and raped your woman and stole your children and then started calling themselves by your name? Stole You'd be violent too. Right. You'd be messed up too. Right. You'd be hooked on drugs too. We ain't lazy. We built the greatest country on the face of the earth. Come on, brother. You lazy. You benefit from our civil rights. Right. You didn't march for no civil rights. Right. Ain't no dogs were set on no African or no Chinese or no East Indian. Black it was our up. four parents, man. That's right. Our four parents. Let me. I'm just gonna go into the Bible for a second. You know, we the Israelite school, a universal and practical knowledge. Today we're under commander General Yahada. We started in, in Harlem, New York, 1969, teaching the truth from the Bible, man. The Bible is a black man's book, and it's not religious. This is our constitution. It tells you in here who you can marry and who you can't. Ooh. It tells you in here what you can eat and what you can't. Ooh. It tells you in here that you the real special people of the earth. Everything great about us comes from the ghetto. What do they say about Christ? Can anything good come from Nazareth? Ooh. You know what Nazareth was? A ghetto, a slum, and they couldn't believe the greatest man to ever walk the face of the earth was from the ghetto. I could believe it. Where the hell is LeBron James from? A ghetto. Where's the hell the fastest man on the earth is from? Usain Bolt. A ghetto. The best singers, the best dancers, the ghetto. The original computers that, that send them shuttles into space was black women doing computations. That's why they call them computers. Where they get them black women from? Beverly Hills? Huh? Calabasas? The hood. We God's chosen people. We the real jewels of the earth. That's right. Give me the scripture, brother. 
Genesis chapter 43, verse 32. And they sat for him by himself, and for them by themselves. For the Egyptians would did eat with him by themselves. This is talking about Joseph. When they brought Joseph up into Egypt, Joseph was from the, from the, the, the line of Israel and Adam. When they brought Joseph up, they set him separately away from the Egyptians. Go ahead. Because the Egyptians might not eat bread with the Hebrews. Say it again. Because the Egyptians might not eat bread with the Hebrews. The slave master will never eat bread with the slave. Right. That's segregation. We are, should never ever be afraid to separate. There is life without the white man. There is life without the African and the East Indian and the Ethiopian. They don't come for us. They don't come to help us. What they do is they take our energy and they help their community. Right. Kamala Harris was East Indian okay. up until it was time to become vice president. Now all of a sudden she's black. Right. And two weeks later, she's stop Asian, Asian hate. Again. Say it again. She's Asian again now. Right, she Asian. And two weeks later, stop Asian hate. Stop black hate, man. We right. can do it. We got to separate from those nations. Absolutely separate from them. Keep reading. Four. For that was an abomination unto the Egyptians. It was an abomination for them to mix with us. The brother before, and this is not to knock the brother, he said we can't get everybody. Let me tell you something. I'm here for everybody. Because when them cops come, whether you're Muslim, Christian, Rastafarian, you're goddamn nigger in their eyes. And they murder in the streets like a goddamn dog. I don't care. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, who killed Martin Luther King? Black people? A white man. And Martin Luther King was telling black people to love white people. And a white man murdered him. If you love Martin Luther King, you would separate from white people. Because they murder us bastards. They're the devil the Bible speaks of. Devil means deceiver. It means they lie. They lie about every goddamn thing under the earth. That's a fact. Everything they tell you is a lie. What I'm coming to tell you is the truth. When they came to put us in slaves, they didn't separate us. They came to get everybody. Because it takes everybody to build this empire. We in the last days right now. This is spiritually Egypt. And God is visiting this place. What do you think coronavirus is? Huh? Whether you think it's man-made or occurred naturally, God is bringing it. He is bringing it to destroy this place. That's right. But listen, man. I'm sorry for anybody who lost somebody with these viruses and these plagues. My heart goes out to you. But this is the casualty of war that we're in. God is halting this place and they're financially hurting. They're coming to a grinding halt. And what's happening? They're giving us money. Don't you know that's in the Bible? When you came out of Egypt, what did the Egyptians do? It said they thrust their gold upon the Hebrews and push them out of Egypt. When in history has America ever given us money? No, no. Never. Why? Because God is visiting this place. You pray for more plagues. Pray for more plagues to visit the house of the thief. Pray for more plagues. You are God's chosen people, man. You can't afford to be asleep no more. And you can't afford to join hands with this devil no more. They can't afford to join hands with these nations no more. This is our laws. This is our constitution. It's going to take hard work. They told us, go to the back of the bus. Why didn't our people go get our own buses? That's right. Why didn't Martin Luther King say, let's make our own buses? You got my grandfather's head cracked so you could sit on their bus. I want my own bus. I want my own toilets. I want my own businesses. I want my own economy. I want my own streets. That's what I want. That's what God wants. God wants us separate from these animals, man. Because they are animals. And make no mistake, we the Israelite school at UPK, man. We teach every weekend, every Saturday, 7 and 8th Street. We gonna be down here too. We looking for these buildings to come in here and teach every single day, man. We got food programs, GED programs, prison programs. You got ones locked up, we go in there and we raise up officers too, man. The Bible says it's a military structure. 
All our ranks, generals and captains and officers, come straight out the Bible. The Christian church doesn't teach the Bible. Nobody else teaches the Bible. The Bible is a total militant order. Totally militant order. You need that militancy because without it, you will grow weak under these animals. You'll grow weak. You gotta understand who you belong to and be willing to fight for it. And I ain't saying necessarily take up arms like them white racist devils in the capital. But I'm talking about fight yourself to not sell yourself short for some goddamn money, man. You see what they did to that little brother, little Nas X? You see what they did to him? For some goddamn money. Poverty is how they get us to commit immorality. Right. Our poverty brings them diamonds and gold. And we got to be able to withstand that poverty. You ain't gonna be able to do it without strong leadership. Without strong leaders. With men who are willing to go to war day in and day out for you. For every black, Hispanic, and native Indian man, woman, and child. Because they are people too. They just speak a different language. And if you think I'm lying, you just come here, I'm gonna prove it for you. They are people too. Who are not our people? The white man, the African, the East Indian, the Chinese, the Ethiopian. They are not our people. I ain't seen them out here with us. Where are they now? Where are they? Any, any Africans here? Any Chinese here? Any East Indians here? They're not here. But when it's time for us to be slaves, for them to work, now they come. Now they come. Now they want us. We gotta turn our backs on them, man. We gotta turn our backs on them. We the Israelite School at UPK under Commander Johnny Hanna. I thank you all for bringing us out here today. If you love the ISUPK, stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast, hosted by commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out.